Fred Film Radio. I'm Matt Micucci from the 77th Venice International Film Festival. I'm very pleased to be joined by filmmaker Kauter Ben Hanya. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Presenting the film, uh, The Man Who Sold the Skin. Now, let yes. me see if I can kind of give a brief uh, description of what the story is like. The story is about the lead protagonist, who is a, a Syrian refugee who in order to uh, sort of driven, half driven by love and uh, desperation to, I guess, decides to sort of lend or absolutely give his back to a very powerful figure within the world of contemporary art. Is that, is that a good one? I, I like very much the way you describe my, my character. So yeah, that's it. <laughs> now, uh, I'm interested as an art fan, not just a film fan, an art fan, uh, whether you are fascinated with the contemporary art world. And I understand that this film is actually inspired by a true story. Is that, is that true? Uh, yes, I, um, um, I like very much the contemporary world. I find it fascinating. I mean, uh, it's, it's full with contradiction. It's very elitist and there is a lot of money. There is a lot of uh, powerful figure, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, it's like the, the um, progression of art uh, arrived now, nowadays, in, in a very strange place. So it's something that interests me a lot. Um, and yeah, it's inspired by the work of the B Belgian artist Wim Delvoix, who do a cameo in the movie. He's uh, <coughs> playing the part of the insurer, right. you know. Uh, so t it's funny to uh, oh. take the real artist to give him the part of the insurer of the of the work, the artwork. Yes. And uh, yeah. Essentially, it's provocative art that's sort of, uh, that's sort of uh, examined. But I am curious, because I, I, I do find that the film is also about freedom exactly. as well, right? Is that yeah. what it's about? Yeah, I'm, I'm ha happy you saw this. It's a, it's a movie about freedom, your inner freedom. And when you are, you know, um, uh, it's in contradiction with uh, the rules, you know, where we live in and how you find a way to... Uh, to impose your freedom, you know, to, yeah. uh, to others. Uh, so to learn to be free, to be responsible with being free. So it's, yeah, the hidden theme, uh, let's say in the movie, it's about freedom. So, so love too, in a way, can trap us, right? That's exactly, <laughs> it's a movie about freedom and love, so. Uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> they're basically very similar things, I guess. Yeah, exactly, exactly, so it's, mm. it's a freedom. Uh, to be loved and to love. So the, the, the character is driven by his uh, uh, love to this, uh, this woman. So he's in, in this kind of uh, position where he don't have much of choice and he have to uh, uh, make hard choices, you know, to uh, regain, to recover his, uh, his love. So, yeah, and so he's not that free, but we know that he's free from the beginning in his head. So right. we have to conciliate between both kind of freedom, you know? Sure. Well, speaking of difficult choices, I have a difficult choice to make now because we are completely out of time, but uh, I have time for maybe one more question. Obviously, one of the things that I think is going to be discussed about this film is the fact that the lead character is a Syrian refugee, and I, I did kind of want to ask you whether there was a specific reason for that as well. I mean, uh, the question of refugee, it's a big question in Europe and uh, everywhere in the world, you know? I think it's one of the next question uh, sure. of uh, our our world and and the paradox when you want to talk about freedom that refugee they are free people you know they don't want dictatorship they want to flee uh, uh, problems you know they are mainly free but all the doors are closed uh, around them nobody wants them to come you know because mm. uh, you have this the figure of otherness you know he's coming from outside from a war zone and uh, and you have this contra contradiction that i wanted to to think about in, in this movie, yeah? Sure. Well, I would have uh, wanted to ask you about the style of the film itself because I found it very great uh, at times uh, recalling the classic Jallos as well. Uh, so, stylistically and visually, it's a delight, but we don't have any more time, unfortunately. But it has been a pleasure speaking with you. Uh, thank Me you very too. much for joining Thank us. you very much. Thank and you. this is Fred Film Radio, the Festival Insider.